Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel VBA code tutorials. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to move a list box items up and down in a user VBA user forum. So let's start the tutorial. And here we got the final output. Notice when I click blue, I have selected the blue item blue from this list box. When I click up arrow, see the blue item blue is moving upwards. We are not getting error also. Notice now if I select red here, I want to move this red to downwards. See the downwards. Hello, downwards. I need to move upwards the yellow item, the selected item. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I have created one book on Excel sheet. Now in order to create a user forum, go to developer and a developer there is a visual basic, put that one. And here we got the Microsoft visual basic for applications. Now the next step, we need to add one user forum. For that go to insert click user forum and here we got the user forum let me expand this design page a little bit um, and also now let's add one list box control on this user forum from this toolbox and select a list box and here i am adding a list box now after that we'll add some items in this list box so select the user forum, right click the mouse, go to view call and here we got the user forum click event. By default it generates the click event but we need to add user forum initialize event. Now here we got the initialize event, now we don't record anymore this click event so delete that one. To add an array to a list box items. List box one dot array list list is equals to array array and in this array I'm adding some uh, colors red black yellow blue white just for the demo purpose i have added only five color names in this area of this list box now let's check the output of these arrays are bounded to this list box or not i'm running this application and here we got the items the array items is bounded to this list box now my next aim is i will add two button controls now when you use a select any particular item on this list box, suppose select the yellow, I want to move up this item, the selected item. So the user select the up button. If you use a select any particular item black, uh, if you user click the down button, the items will move down. So let's add that functionality to this application. Close this now add two buttons here i'm adding command button from this toolbox this is command button now in this command button and the symbol i'm adding here let's add the properties the caption i'm adding character symbol here we got the character symbol and the font size i'm increasing to bold let's add 16 and here we got the up arrow button now we require another button to go down so again i'm adding one more command button and the command button caption i'm changing to v let's add the capital v capital v and font size i'm adding bold coding and here we got the two button controls up and down now 
Now my aim is at sending this application again. If the user select any particular error and user clicks the up arrow button, it will move up. If a user selects down arrow, the selected item will go down. So close this application again. Now select the button control up arrow, double click that one. And here we got a click event. Now in the next step in this click event, I require the list index of this array. So list box index are required. I'm defining one variable dim x as variant and x is equals to list box one dot list index. Once we got the list index, that list index which is a selected index, I'm holding in a temporary variable y is equals to list box one dot list list x after that list box one dot list x is equals to what is this value which is y y is a temporary uh, selected variable selected item i need to move upwards upwards means list box one dot list x minus one it will go upwards x minus 1 if it's x plus 1 it will go downwards so I'm minusing one index value so it will go up and this value list box 1 dot list value x minus 1 is equals to y then the last step is list box one dot list index list index list index is x minus one that's it this is a code it's a very simple code so let's check the output i'm running this application now i'm selecting hello if i click upwards Oops, here we've got invalid user property. Oops, here is equals to. I forgot to add the is equals to. Now let's run the application again. Now I'm selecting hello, so it's moving upwards. If I click black, it's moving upwards. Now notice here the black, the selected value is gone up to the list index 0. When I click again, here I got an runtime error 381 because the array index is out of the range bound. So, to fix that, if list box 1 dot list index is less than equals to zero then exit sub so this is the condition if the selected index is less than zero it will exit now run this application i'm selecting again blue here this time i'm selecting blue so notice here we are not getting any error if I click hello, it's going up. White, it's going up. Now the same condition, I want to go the downwards. So close this application. Now double click the list box and here we got the command click event for the down arrow. Instead of writing the same code, I'm adding this one. Um, for two items go down we require one more variable here y this is plus one a plus one it will move downwards minus one it will move upwards plus one Now let's check the output. I'm running this application. 
if I select black going downwards see now notice here when I click downwards again here we've got an error runtime error creative error so here in this if condition if we notice the list index is less than equals to zero which means mm, here the list index is not zero because we are going downwards the list index will increase so we need to count the list index list count list box one dot list index is equals to list box one dot list uh, list count minus one the selected index i'm counting minus one then i want to exit now let's check the final output i'm running this application again and here we got the final output notice when i click blue i have selected the blue item blue from this list box when i click up arrow see the blue item blue is moving upwards we are not getting error also notice now if i select red here i want to move this red to downwards see the downwards hello downwards i need to move upwards the hello item the selected item that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to move up and down the list items in a vba user forum thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel catch you in my next video tutorial